Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Forest River. So as you can see here, I have uh, gotten our last field of beans outlined. Uh, we got one truck that's just over half full. Uh, I think this truck's full. Yep. And the other one might be as well. Yep. So we almost have three full trucks. But uh, that one's not quite full yet. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get after it here. And uh, see if we can't get things close to wrapped up. We are uh, definitely getting down there on it. So... Um, and I talked some with the, uh, our neighbor here to the east of ways, and, uh, he is not in need of his grain bagger or baler, rake, anything like that. So he said that, uh, we can go grab any of that whenever we'd like. Um... Like I mentioned before, the only thing that we have to do is we just have to purchase the uh, bags for the bagger. Otherwise, uh, he said we can just use his stuff free of charge um, as long as we need it. So that is uh, fantastic. That's a huge, huge help to us. And, uh, super awesome of him. He said he's kind of starting to slow down on things anyways, so he's, uh, not too terribly worried about it. Um, so we're going to see our bin is getting full. So, uh, we'll see when it fills how much we have left. If there's not a lot left, I'm not going to waste a bag on it. Um, you know, we'll just... I mean, if it's a truckload or so, then uh, we'll just haul it in and dump it at the elevator right away. But if it's a decent amount, then we might uh, look at getting a bag and putting the rest of our beans in there. Our corn, we are most likely going to have to uh, bag. Because, I mean, it it's looking like it's going to be some good corn. So, uh, if it does end up being a really good yield, we're going to fill that bin really, really quick. So, and who knows, maybe it might not be as nice as it looks and we end up not needing the bagger but whatever happens we are set up and ready for it at least we'll be uh, good to go on um, getting all this straw bailed up and everything, so we will, uh, have a baler we can use and rake and everything like that, because we probably, since we have the ability to use a rake and access to a baler, all that stuff, um, after we combine our corn... We'll probably take advantage of that and um, rake up all the corn stalks and everything like that. So that way we can uh, get a little extra money out of things. That's uh, never a bad thing. Can never go wrong making some extra cash, so... And we definitely need it. Cool. 
we'll get down to the end here and uh, unload into the truck. We should be able to get one more load into it, I think, maybe. We'll see. So we'll get this unloaded, and we're just about halfway through this field already too, so hopefully we can get it done today, and then tomorrow we, uh, we can get moved on to corn. Either way, we're getting moved on to corn tomorrow, whether uh, we have to finish a little bit of beans tomorrow, or if we uh, just jump straight into it, so. Oh yeah, it's just about gonna fill this truck. 89% full. So yeah, she's up there. Actually, just spent the day dealing with uh, our combines and headers, uh, amongst other things. But uh, pulled our headers off of the trailers on Monday to work on the two header trailers for our drapers, and one of which I had to completely rewire because we had no working lights on it, and we wanted to get them working. So, rewired that trailer and got that done, got them all greased up, wheel bearings checked, ready to rock and roll, and then today we put the headers back on and got everything strapped down and ready to move, but we ran the combines and ran the headers a little bit before we uh, unhooked them. Make sure everything's ready to go because it's sounding like uh, a little over a week and we're going to be hitting the field. Sounds like next week we're going to move the combines. Uh, one's going to the farm as we're going to pull our air bars off of our drapers since we don't use them and uh, pull them off. So we're going to pull those off at the farm. And then the other combine is just going to go straight up to the field uh, from the sounds of it. Or we'll put it in a building at the farm for now. Because our first winter wheat field is uh, not far from the farm. So we want to have everything down there and ready to go. And we just got our... Our new grain cart finally got delivered this week. Uh, I think that came on Monday. And of course, brand new, still had problems. But uh, that all got fixed up yesterday. And uh, so that's ready to go. And now we're getting the air seeder and its tractor ready to go for winter wheat planting uh, this fall as, uh, as soon as we get done combining we're going to start hauling out and get a bunch of it hauled out and then the air seeder is going to go down the field putting uh, winter wheat in for next year and it's just going to be uh, hectic so we want to have that ready to rock 
So that way we can just pull it out of the building and uh, send it on down the field. So getting oil changed in the tractor, grease in the air seeder, and uh, we got a camera on the back of the air seeder that's not working at all that uh, John Deere has to come out actually tomorrow and fix and then they're also fixing uh, one of the connectors on our drill or on our cart I mean for the air seeder because it uh, a couple of the pins broke in it so can't use our middle tank and uh, we're gonna need that one this fall so they're gonna get that fixed and figure out why none of our cameras are registering and then they'll uh, and then I have to run a new cord to one of our cameras because it got broke at some point and then uh, she'll be ready to go she got new air filters and fresh oil so it's uh, ready to rock and roll just the calm before the storm pretty much alright so that is our last truck full and we're going to keep cutting until we get this filled up. And then uh, we'll start dumping some trucks. Hopefully everything will fit in our bin yet. And I wouldn't mind selling a couple loads just to kind of give us a little bit of cash. to uh, kind of have to play with. I think if we dump one of these Chevy grain trucks, um, we should be able to fit the rest of this field into that. So we'll fill the combine up and grab one of the two and get it dumped. So that way we can just get back to cutting. But uh, I think we will definitely have this soybean harvest wrapped up today, which will be really nice. Because then that means uh, off camera I can switch everything over and get us uh, moved down to the cornfield. And it takes up less time in an episode doing it, so... It's always uh, nice when things work out like that. Okay. Well, we'll see if we can make it to the other end. We might be able to. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot more to go, so that's uh, a good thing. Oh, we're missing a strip. Let's 
flip around and clean that a little bit up. I don't want to leave that laying. If it was just a plant or two, then I wouldn't worry about it, but that's a decent strip there, so. All right. Go ahead and drop the header down. Let's fire this guy up and get him into the yard. Let the box drop all the way down, and then we'll keep unloading. Let's check this bin here once. Uh, let's see, soybeans. Oh boy, we're 78% full already. Might be taking a few trucks to the elevator. That's all right. We could use the money. All right. Let's jump back in this guy here. Get this head up. Almost, almost went too far there. Right. And it works out perfect because our uh, grain head trailer is right there. Get our combine and header fired back up. be able to fit the rest of this field into that truck and before we uh, jump onto corn we're gonna want to probably fill this combine up with uh, some fuel As we are getting down there If we're lucky enough, we might even be able to fit the rest of this in one 
hopper load, but I don't think that we're going to be able to do that. Unfortunately. This field is definitely an odd shaped field. It's got this nice long dog leg to it. Maybe four more rounds at most left, it looks like. Three, four, something like that. And then we'll be good to go, thankfully. We're one step closer to making some money so we can uh, make some upgrades and changes around here. Hopefully another year and we can uh, maybe get ourselves into some beef cows. We're not going to do any milking, but uh, we will get into some beef cattle. That's for sure. But uh, definitely no dairy. Dairy's not really a big thing around here anymore. Not unless you're uh, running a giant dairy. I actually just uh, saw an article not long ago that... Um, kind of in the northwestern part of North Dakota here, there is plans for two dairies to uh, be opened up and one is let's see what did it say I think one was like a 20,000 head dairy and the other was a 12,500 head dairy or something like that it's way too many cows for me way too many that's insane Perfect. We're going to get all of it in one pass and all of it in one hopper. So that's going to work out fantastic. Alright, let's unload the rest of this. We're just going to drop that right there. And we'll wait for this guy to unload. And then uh, we'll get our trucks emptied.
we're actually gonna actually filled quite a bit of that truck. It's good. Get our auger swung back in. And then uh, shut that guy down. So, let's see here. We'll just grab this one. We'll dump whatever we can into our bin yet. And then uh, I think we are just going to sell the rest. Or crap, just for cash price. We haven't made any contracts yet, so uh, we'll know kind of exactly what to contract. We'll for sure have uh, 2,000 bushels of oats and beans that we can contract. And then the corn, we'll kind of wait and see. I think our bin is full. Let's take a look here. Full. All right. Well, that is good to know. We're going to spin the truck around. We got to get the rest of it out of that auger. I don't know if I'm going to have to go over to the side and hook on the PTO. Okay, good. Well, that works out. Okay. We're just going to pull this guy up right here for now. Let's go get these trucks emptied. Excited to get into that corn though, that is for sure. I'm ready for corn. All right, let's get up here on the scale. Ninety two fifty six what we weigh. We'll get her dumped. Wow, over 10 grand for that load. A little over. That's, uh, that's not bad. Boy, if that's uh, cash price right now, I can't wait for uh, when we hit top price. Forty-two, eighty-two, coming out. All right. So we'll run this guy back. Probably just pull it up somewhere over there by the combine, and then uh, actually we could just leave this truck right here because we're gonna come start in this cornfield. So let's do that. We'll just walk over to our trucks. Well, jog over. 
Alright, let's grab the other Chevy. So this one's a full 709 bushels. So we'll have to uh, see how much we get for this. Because, I mean, that other truck was nowhere near full. And we got a heck of a price for it, so... Curious to see too of uh, what this truck weighs fully loaded. Wow! Passed right on by it. 21,782. Wow! It's quite a jump from the last truck. And of course, they're not anywhere near accurate, but it works. All right, let's see what we get. Holy smokes. Thirty four thousand four hundred and thirty three plus another twenty eight seventy. Wow. All right. I will take it because we need the money. The bank payment isn't going to pay itself. Alright. So we were 21,000 coming in. 4,200 going out. It's quite a bit. Alright, we'll go drop this truck behind the other one. And then we'll go grab our international yet, get that unloaded, and then uh, we'll call it a day. Alright, let's run on over, get that last truck. I like the gear animation. I love that it actually goes through the gears as we're driving. And that you can actually hear it shifting too. That's another thing I really like. Uh, twenty two three fifteen. 
truck does not stop very nice. Alright, let's see what we can get for this one. And then that'll be it for today. Twenty thousand. <laughs> Twenty thousand seven hundred and seventeen plus another seventeen hundred. Wow. All right, folks. That's gonna do it for today. I will get everything set up and ready for corn harvest. And uh, when we come back tomorrow, we'll be cutting some corn. So, thanks everybody for tuning in today. And we'll catch you all tomorrow.